I should really get working on that elevator music, shouldn't I? Red Hen. I started to play, I used to play some elevator music, and then I just worried about getting it, uh, leaking it into the stream, and then getting it a uh, takedown notice when these export to YouTube, because that's what happens. So sometimes if I play games, I might play like external music, but on these streams that I know I'm going to export to YouTube, I, I don't do it. Red Dragon Pinco, thanks for the sub, and you're awesome. OSU, thanks for the sub. Thank you. Need more velocity, girl. We could do that. I wonder if that would that would be um, a lot cheaper for Mike to acquire the rights to Velocity Girl for our Pin Attic intro music, I think. Like, y'all have heard the story where Mike tried to surprise me with a Magnetic, magnetic Fields uh, song that I thought was perfect for the intro of the pin addict and tried to get the licensing for it for my birthday one year and it, it, it fell through but uh it was a it was a great uh it was a great attempt so yeah maybe one of these years good morning everyone how's everyone doing latest episode of the pin addict podcast i hear that's a pretty good show like i'm a big fan of the pin addict podcast y'all should check it out sometime we could have no intro music. I, I, I'm working on that too on, for friends of the show. We just go straight into it because that would require editing and I don't want to do editing. Sir Jerkface, wow, longest Twitch ad ever. What Twitch ad would there be? What is the longest Twitch ad ever? We like, I haven't, uh, haven't seen, we had some people in here quickly this morning. Uh, like there was no ads going. Tales from the Loop, is that a game? I don't even know what that is afternoon or rachel it's a prime show your podcast listening time has dropped dramatic dramatically with you stuck at home that's a very interesting thing to say brian because i agree completely the less i drive the less podcasts i listen to because when i work i usually have to listen to music like if i'm sitting at a desk and playing uh, playing writing um i'm not playing a podcast i'm playing music it is super bright today. My five head is shiny. Stop me or convince me to spend money on an AC sport. I will stop you. I think the ALs are better than the ACs. To be perfectly honest. I've had ACs. They're nice. They're cool. If that's your aesthetic, if that carbon fiber is your aesthetic, then go for it. You will be very happy. I enjoy the steel sport, the brass sport, and the AL sports all better than the AC sports. So that's my honest opinion. But again, I'm not a carbon fiber guy, right? I mean, look at my shirt. Like, I'm not hitting that carbon fiber. I'm not, I'm not about that carbon fiber life. So if you are then you'll be completely happy with it. For me, I'm going to take an AL or probably a steel sport over that. I did see that CW Pencils is stopping shipping as of 5 p.m. today. That's what I'm going to – I'm a little bit worried about that here. Obviously, New York is a little bit more extreme uh, than – yes, AC means carbon. Uh, C is for the carbon. L, AL for aluminum, AC, carbon, I believe – right i'm i'm yep <laughs> your wife well thank you i will say the orange one's pretty sweet if i did own one it would be the orange one yes cw is shutting off orders permanent not turning off orders orders completely until they're able to confidently ship again and like it's the right decision because by um continuing to place orders you're in effect putting more burden on the postal system which is requiring it's this whole chain reaction of events right so as much as we'd like to support our companies that we want to support it's this whole chain reaction of not just supporting the company but do they have someone available to come into ship does that person that ship able to go to the post office is the post office getting worked you know unfairly because of these orders so yeah it's a mess it's a mess but Viking CDA 849. Man, I was using that pen yesterday, Dave. Love that pen. 
I just changed the uh, Notco shipping to a week. Just because I can get to, uh, good morning, Mike. Just because I can get to the post office on Sunday, the one main post office I use has the big bins that I can go in, access, and don't have to see anyone and drop them all in the bins. Um, but like I still like go check my P.O. box, you know, like once a week or something like that. So it's tough, man. It's tough. It's not getting better right now. Um, it's going to be a little bit more time before things start getting better, I believe. So it sucks to see, but I think it's it's the right decision uh, in the end. So um, today I, I need to I need to work on my membership cards. I only got about 10 to do, um, but I've been super slack on doing these memberships so i'm going to address those while we will while we'll while we'll chat pens and then we'll do the since we're talking about cw pencils we'll do the cw mad libs today cabin fever mad libs we have two two rounds of mad libs i'll help get y'all to help me fill out um which should be fun but let me knock this out real quick because i do like sometimes oh you got your notebook awesome Anything cool or something totally lame? I try not to send out anything totally lame, but you never know. Also hard to ship anything if your supplier has shut down. That's exactly right. Like, it's a huge, huge chain reaction thing. All right, so let me uh, let me knock some of these out. And then we'll uh, then we'll always then we'll we'll work on more notebooks. And the notebook notebooks, notebooks. The notebook project um will live on i just haven't opened up the spreadsheet yet for more addresses so i get this one out the membership memberships is just me slacking um too much i'll just be honest so i'm gonna do it right now there's got to be less than 10 of these today so let me knock these out and then we'll hit some mad libs so what else do you want to talk about I make my, um, oh, is it Nixon with the surfer on the front? I love those. I was a big fan of those. Yeah, don't worry, Dave. I'm not sending you anything. I, Dave, I got random feedback. Not really, but from Tony that uh, he enjoyed our, our podcast together. So good job by you. I'll have a new Friends of the Show dropping this afternoon. I have an interview at 1.00 with Blake Moore. So um, I won't be here too, too long. I'm going to go go interview him. And I will edit the... So what, who's up today is going to be Tsunami Sue. She is an urban sketcher from Baltimore. She is freaking amazing. And we had a great conversation about urban sketching and her involvement in it and all kinds of things about that. So, um, yeah, Tsunami Sue will be coming up today. Um, after It'll be late afternoon. I'm going to interview Blake at 1, and then when I'm done with that, sometime mid-afternoon, I'll finish editing uh, Sue's podcast. Um, I think, Brian, you're after that, so probably next week. Yes, she runs the helps run the um, the Baltimore chapter of Urban Sketchers and does freaking amazing job. She's just unbelievably cool. Big fan. She's just so positive, which I very much appreciate. All right, one. This email came in in February. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Coop. <laughs> I'm a terrible sometimes. My emails just get buried and then I'm a jerk and, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, rip. <laughs> Sorry, Coop. He even, he even sent me a follow up email. Sorry, man. My bads. 
All right, this one's going to Canada. So, word on the street in Canada. Any Canadian, any Canadian listeners today? word on the street is tim hortons really isn't good like people don't like it anymore it like it was the cool hip thing right did they have like a did they have like a a buyout type of thing or is it just gone downhill or did it was it never good in the first place because as a as a non-canadian you hear about the the tim horton thing what happened like it used to be like the must-have thing and now all i hear is people like dogging it out Like the quality's crap, the experience is crap. When it used to be just like held to this super high standard, or maybe not high standard quality wise, but high standard um, social wise, right? It's kind of like Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts used to be good here in the U.S. It's I, their coffee's still fine. Um, the donuts have gone to not being made in the shop, so they're not as good. It's probably the same type of thing, huh? Americans ruin everything. I mean, people still like love Duncan, but it's not the same Duncan that I grew up on. Wow, I really don't think you should have ones in a postal code that contains letters and numbers. Canada. Can we not do that? I think ones, ones and zeros should be banned from letters and number codes. I wonder if Duncan is different in Boston than the rest of the U.S. I think that sometimes, right? Because of the love for it. It's kind of like, it's, in, it's intense, right? The intense love. Morning, Evan. How's your toilet? You'll make the change for next week. South is Krispy Kreme country, and they still, like, you still find the the Krispy Kreme shops. Like, each, like, big town at least has one, depending on the size of the town, Krispy Kreme shop that will make in-house, right? Oh, the postal code. <laughs> no, the U.S. postal codes are fine because they're all numbers. You know it's a number. The Canadian postal codes are letters and numbers. Like, I had to make sure my ones look like ones. You're not really missing anything out if if you've never had Dunkin'. Like, look, I think the coffee's fine. Like, the coffee's fine. I would, I totally drink the coffee. The the donuts are just no longer uh, good like they used to be. Yeah, the, uh, oh, Jackie, you're getting your membership today, too. Because I'm super slack. So I'm drinking fresh market coffee today. They have this one bean. This this one, this one's lived a good life, man. I love it. I, I put it in the dishwasher is why it looks like that, which you're not supposed to. But it's also probably three years old. But yeah, it's mostly usage. Robo Jimmer, thanks for the sub. You're awesome. Yeah, I started, I always start off good, Brian. Yo, Jesse. I do miss, um, I miss the Little Rock Pin Show this year. And there's a place from, there's a donut shop. What's, people who've been to the Little Rock Show, Jesse, you might know. Is it Shipley's? I think it's Shipley's. Between... The Van S is where I stay in the show hotel. You just drive down this back street. Um, and every morning I'd stop and get donuts. Like they're making them there. Um, they're making donuts. What are the uh, what are the things that uh, Anna likes so much? I want to call them culottes. <laughs> but in that pants <laughs> or something. <laughs> what am I thinking of? Anyway, they, I just stop. I get like a dozen donuts to bring to the show. And then... Um, Yes, thank you. <laughs> I don't know how to say that, Red Hen. That's the problem. Is it kolache? 
kulachi. But they're good. It's basically just like dough around sausage. <laughs> or meat, any, some kind of meat or something. Um, but that place is dope. Like that's, I never get fresh, fresh donuts. Yeah, I'm thinking of culottes because of Animal Crossing. But the Shipley's makes them, you know, it's a, it's a bakery, like, right? They're making these stuff there and it's just fantastic. I don't get that here. There's, um, there's one Krispy Kreme here that makes donuts and it's about, a, it's almost 30 minutes away from me. Like it would take me like an hour round trip to go to the Krispy Kreme. It could not be any further. I, yeah, this is a bad conversation. There's one bakery that makes small batch donuts that are really good. I just don't ever get over there. So anyway, yeah, this all started because I was uh, talking about Tim Hortons. You've never had a hot crispy donut? There, it's it's a very different thing, Jesse. It's totally worth it. Like that would be worth hunting down once. So it's uh, it's a different type of donut. Oh, we were talking about inks. Yamogi. Yamogi. Kick yo. The app tells you when the hot sign is on. On. Oof. Nice. Yeah, it's just too far for me. Every once in a while, the kids will um, the kids will make me stop and get the get the um, get the charity ones. You know, they're how well I was doing like the promotions. Um, they're just not as good. I mean, they're great, but they're just it's not the same not getting him there i did see they put in uh the last time i flew through hartsfield and it may have been there a while i just hadn't been in the terminal they put in a big crispy cream counter they're not making them there but did they put in a huge like as long as this room crispy cream counter um which is pretty cool yomogi is a great ink it shades even in my fine nibs which is pretty cool that doesn't happen as much with my fine nibs. That's what I used on that Esterbrook review. That's an extra fine nib. And I got a uh, really good shading out of it. Such a good ink. Yeah, the hot Krispy Kreme meat should be addressed. That's, that's worth, that is worth the side trip for. I would say without question. that is worth the detour <clears throat> yeah that's the thing too uh beth in when i grew up that's all we had was the local i don't even remember what it was called um in baton rouge i'll think of it in a minute but like my parents would just go get that it smelled amazing and like every saturday or sunday like that's what we get and like my parent my dad was like a hardcore apple fritter eater he would get the apple fritters and we would get whatever donuts we wanted that did not work oh well hopefully this doesn't get returned oh did i put the wrong stamp on the canada i did let's see if i can save this stamp oh yeah what i got for you this morning jim is these member chips that i need to get out real quick and then we're gonna do cw pencils mad libs which should be pretty fun, I think. Are there donuts in um, Animal Crossing? Oh yeah, that one, that alligator always carries around a donut, doesn't he? It's all about the old fashioned, can't beat that. Orange flavored glaze. I, I That's something I really like, but I never grew up with that at all. God, this one doesn't have a stamp either. I'm, I'm too busy talking about donuts than doing what I need to be doing. Chunk. All right. That is down. That is down. Let's go to this inbox. Let's go. Oh, Jackie's on the list. Almost there. Almost there. All right. This one's going to the UK. Yeah, it's my um, it's my return address stamp. So it's one of these big kerthunkers. So this one goes to the UK. So it gets special, uh, these stamps. Right, I ate right before I came over, so I'm not hungry at all, which is why I'm feeling comfortable talking about food. Sorry about that. I'm still way early for you. All right, where are we at? 
Not too more of these. Not too many more of these. But I, I really need to do this. Tiny Badge. Thanks for the sub. You're awesome. I gotta do that. Let's see if it stays or goes. It goes. Two times in a row. Love it. So, broader question. I'll help. I'll I'll help transition from donuts into a broader state of the industry question. State of the industry question. Um, how are we feeling about just the fountain pen uh, and stationary industry as a whole? And I'm looking at it from my perspective as new product production, like new product releases. Are we seeing? Are we in the same calendar? as we've seen in the past years for releases are we getting as many releases as we normally have has there been a slowdown in new stuff um you know do you have any kind of feeling i don't know that i do honestly yet right i feel like we're moderately the same as far as releases and products go but I'm wondering if we're gonna see like what the summer is gonna be like. Yeah, I feel like it's slowed a little bit. It kind of does. It's probably slowed for Sarah because I haven't been sending her as much stuff because I'm not turning over as much stuff, right? Um, where it's not just a constant barrage of things to review. Although at the same, by the same token, you know, am I being aggressive in acquiring things to review right i know the problem this time is jet pins is way behind and i keep holding your package um for that and i'm just not going to hold it anymore that's kind of what i'm thinking sarah like this summer like are we going to see some kind of weird slowdown yeah a lot of the classic companies have hit big anniversaries recently Lamy seems on schedule. I really haven't seen. I mean, I know we're seeing pictures of the of the candy ones, but I really haven't. I haven't seen much activity around them, and that's a big release for them. Usually every year. So I don't know. I kind of have this mix. I kind of have this subtle feeling that there might be some some slowdown. The bigger problem is retailers are not shipping. Yeah, that's gonna. Um, cause a weird i think that'll have like a weird uh, after effect right um you know you think about some of the 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 big retailers in our industry and i just wonder how like i don't think there's going to be any long-term repercussions i hope there's not obviously but i wonder if in the short term there's going to be like some cash flow issues um type of thing to where, I don't know, they'll always still get the new stuff, right? Then again, yawn, Lamy. So my my latest Lamy idea was I'm gonna start a start a Lamy idea notebook. All right, Jackie, you're up. Finally, getting this out to you. <clears throat> big makers are big makers and distributors shipping yeah they're a little bit behind like the asian the asian vendor the asian manufacturers are shipping behind right dates are behind and it's not just the curios i worry about retailers who might not make it through either that's what i was thinking tony and I think I can just, I think I'm gonna make a notebook, make like my, what do you call it? Uh, a portfolio, like a design portfolio where I take every product and break it down. It's just a fun side project for me. I'd never release that. But just to wet my whistle, if you will. And then, you know, I'll just show up in, in Heidelberg one day and knock on the door and say, here's my, here's my portfolio, hire me. I agree, Tony. I had very low expectations based on the early reviews, and I kind of like it. The spacing doesn't work for me perfectly, but I'm getting by just because I think it's cool. 
I do. I wish it had. I wish it had three squares. I wish it had three grids between the lines, like done. That's a better spacing for me, because otherwise, with two two five millimeter squares, makes it just a line notebook, which I would like a little bit, uh, a little bit something different. Even though the style is good, but I agree on the quality. It's better than I expected. I do. I have the bright silver one. I like that one. And a Rushi dialogue. Yeah, that's exactly what they don't need to be making. I mean, they can't sell the dialogue as it is. Why would they make like a bajillion dollar one? I mean, again, we just talked about pin couture. Like, that's fine. But try to tell me that story instead of trying to sell me a fancy pen that's not great to begin with my inbox is stupid all right so yeah i'm wondering what type of ripple effects we're gonna see yeah that's what we're talking about tony that's what i'm saying they like why if they can do that, they can do a lot of other things. How many sets of those did they make? Like 20? 20 sets of four, something like that? It wasn't that many. Right, all right, all right. I'd rather buy an Iopena than a Rushi Dialogue 3. Yeah. Weren't those sets, was it a set of four, like 20 grand, or am I way off? 33 sets? <coughs> Excuse me, chat. It rained, it allergies. <coughs> Excuse me. Before this lockdown, I was over all impulse by the Nakaya with the dogs on it. It's a very pretty one. One of the better looking ones. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesse. All right, was that the last one? Mm -mm -mm. Blippity bloppity. Blake. <clears throat> Do I actually have these out? Sorry, just let me double check my mess of an inbox. I have too many inboxes. Dot com. Okay, we're done. Good deal, thank you. Have you seen the aftermarket Arushi pin bodies for the 3776? No. Every time Brad sneezes a nib somewhere, it begins to creep probably my nib in my shirt. So I think I decided on my Bocamundo pin. Um, I have the I have the Ink of the Witch bung box. Do you think it would be uncouth of me to cover up that very subtle burgundy barrel looks pretty much black do you think that would be unfair to that pin at first i thought yes but the more i think of it i think it might be the perfect platform for a not completely covered um cover up you might weep if i did that oh, it's a great pen maybe i could just i wouldn't like cover it up i would just sparkle it what extra precautions do I need to take with KW, IG, IG, KWZ IG inks? They, I find them to be extremely good performers and cleaner outers. So I've never taken any precautions other than to just clean them every you know three weeks or so. 
they generally work really well for me. I think you do what you want with your pins, Brad. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, I would never touch the finial. I'd just do maybe some barrel, um, some galaxy style stuff on the barrel, not any thick, thick, uh, like strips of rod. It's your pen, do what you want. If you do that, you're a monster. It's like, I don't want to buy a black pen to get stuff put on it because I don't have another one that I, I like enough to just send off. Like I did it on my 912 with the PO nib because that's a pen I already have. I don't want to buy a pen for this. Hey, I can actually watch live now. <laughs> <laughs> Jim was using dirty words and got banned. And Al got you moderated, Jim. <laughs> Don't do and Al, but it's approved now. Fury and King, good morning. Was it the K word? No, it was A N space A L. So reread your your post because it highlights the the infracting words and I wouldn't have seen it if it didn't highlight it. <clears throat> All right, y'all think we can do these? Uh, y'all think we can do these Mad Libs on uh, in in chat live? So this is um, in my latest package from CW Pencil. Mooney John, thanks, bud. You're awesome. Thanks for the um, the uh, Twitter story. Glad you liked the uh, the video the other day. Alert box, always broken. All right, y'all think we could do the cabin fever Mad Libs from CW Pencil Enterprises? I think we could start typing in SNL Gilep probably. <laughs> Robo Jim with the gift. <laughs> Thank you. That is awesome. Oh, that's amazing. I appreciate it. Made your family sit through the whole thing. That's hilarious. All right. So let's let's try to do this. I think we can have fun with this. So I'm gonna read. You know, we'll just go kind of sentence by sentence so we can get a grasp of what's going on. And then I'll give you the blank and then what that blank should be, like plural noun, adjective, noun, adverb, those things, okay? So Alex, who works for CW Pencils, wrote these. She do both of them? Yes, yeah, she did both of them. So this one starts, the Jones family walked into CW Pencils and the dad said, hey, do you sell any blank here? So plural noun. So what did the dad say of the Jones family when he walked into CW Pencils? Like, we're just going to, we'll let everyone, like, kind of reply. I'm not going to do any polls. We'll just say, like, whatever I think sounds good out of out of what uh, what you're saying. We'll do this, and then we'll text it to, uh, we'll do it to Caroline Weaver. I'm doing Mad Libs wrong? How? How am I doing it wrong? Squid. <laughs> How can you do Mad Libs wrong? Don't read the sentence? Oh, so I just tell you plural noun? Like you don't know what it is? Oh. Okay. Damn. Oh, I am doing it wrong. Okay. Okay. So then we're going to flip to side two. And we'll come into side one. Or I, we'll just we'll let it slide on this one. All right. Give me a plural noun then. Thank you all. Thank you, chat. I was doing it wrong. I thought I needed that to like help you out. <clears throat> okay. So ignore what I said and give me a plural noun. I did like squids. Newt eyes. <laughs> okay, since I was doing it wrong, I'm gonna go with the first silly answer, which is squid. So we're going to do it like that. So we'll do squids. 
Okay, now I need an adjective. Honk, honk. <laughs> Underpants. Brads. Let's see if this pen is going to work. Yeah, that should work fine. All right, thick. <laughs> All right, I need an adjective. Adjective. <laughs> Moist, appalling, flying, frabjous. Yeah, I don't know why that one got modded. That's just twit, twitch, twitch speak. Oh, um, a chatoyant. That's hilarious. I like resplendent. I like appalling too. I'm gonna go with resplendent. I don't have that much space though. All right, I need another ad adjective, so keep them coming. Exuberant, ethereal, smooth. Give me a few more adjectives. Crunchy. <laughs> I don't want to read ahead because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to um, bias the answers. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, these are all good. Exuberant, crunchy, delicate, slippery, smooth. Let's go with smooth. All right, noun. Hit me some nouns. And I'm trying to avoid, avoid reading all this. Give me a noun. <clears throat> And Tony can be the uh, the the grammar uh, guru here and tell me if you, we're, we're doing the proper proper thing. So noun. Oh, bathroom. That's a great noun. Hipster. <laughs> paint box. <laughs> I don't know why paint box makes me laugh. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the bathroom though. All right, adverb. I need an adverb. Is this is this working for y'all to just write in words that like I'm saying, or is this like super boring? Rapidly. They just changed the mod view, Tony, um, like a last week or two two weeks ago, and I haven't looked at it because I don't mod any channels. But apparently, the mod tools just just blew up. Let's take uh let's take rapidly. Let's take rapidly and then I need two adjectives, so just start throwing me your adjectives. Feel free to repeat your words just so it'll go faster. I mean we have like twenty something to fill out here. Ah, so the mobile app doesn't have them the the view. Uh what did I say? Uh rapidly. All right, adjectives. Just start reeling them off, and I'm going to pick two here. I wonder if – would it be more fun and quick for me to – for everyone to do adjectives, and then I fill all the adjective spots, and that will also prevent me from re from reading ahead and, like, um, kind of, you know, bias biasing the answers. Like, I'll just fill all the adjective blocks now while we're talking adjectives, and then we can go from there. I think that'll make it go faster and I think it'll be more random that way. What do you think? Okay. All right. So that sounds good. And I'm going to try to use words from everyone. So just keep throwing at me some adjectives. Um, I got to use chatoyant just because, um, I hate that word. So I'm going to fill all my adjective blocks now. Um, <laughs> uh, itchy. I like itchy. OK. 
okay adjective 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 uh <laughs> lubricated uh all right lubricated that that needs to go is that adjective yeah yeah this is better this makes for a better uh better workflow adjective 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 okay feathered all right how many more adjectives i need i still need two more adjectives so uh yeah keep keep them coming mm. fluffy squeegee Let's do fluffy. Fluffy. All right, last adjective. Um, <clears throat> uh, caffeinated. I like that word. All right, that's enough on the adjectives. I need uh, nouns. I only need two nouns, so let's do those. All right, so start hitting me with some nouns. Let's see, one, two, yeah, just two nouns. This is gonna be good. We'll send this to Caroline and the team at CW this afternoon when I get home, or maybe before, maybe before I get there. C bass, you're hilarious. It's more like a C plus. Oh, fair rule, that's a good one. Giraffe. Uh, podcaster. Okay, we got two votes for podcaster. Let's see. <clears throat> podcaster. And then where's my other noun? Okay. Um, March hair. Let's do feral just because of it's a pencil shop that's a good pencil term okay um i need two verbs ending in ing i need two verbs ending in ing we only have about five more spots to fill after that <laughs> squinting delineating <laughs> leaping running Delineating Jim. Punting. I like punting. I like I like to say punting. Wrenching. Punting. Discrediting. <laughs> Why do I like that word so much? Disc I'm think I'm taking discrediting. <laughs> okay um give me a color let's hit some colors just one single color magenta i like that right out the gate orange yeah, it's kind of got to be orange doesn't it i like i like saying magenta aquamarine chartreuse Ooh, two votes for chartreuse mother of pearl cerulean Turquoise, teal, puce, <laughs> mauve. I hate mauve. I hate saying that word in that color. Mauve, beige, shinkai. Oh, these are too good. You know what? I'm I'm sorry. I'm going to go with magenta. I really like That was the first one. That was a high bar. Okay. Body part. Body part. Keep it clean or the auto mods will get you. Body part. Elbow. Two elbows right out the gate. I guess we're probably going to have to get... I don't even know what a frenulum is, Oscar. Thank you. Show off. Toes. Tongue. Yeah, we're doing a Mad Lib. We're doing the CW Pencils Mad Libs. Uh, Cockit. We're going to go with elbow. All 
All right, give me a number. Earlobe. That would have been a good one. All right, let's hit some numbers. I know what no, what number is going to stand out to me. That's not four twenty sixty nine, which we're not going to do. Um, <laughs> thirty seven is actually probably the correct number to use. Eight eighty eight, fifty one, forty two. It's a prime number, you know. Twenty three point two. Okay, <laughs> that I think it's twenty three point two. That's the first one that made me laugh. All right, 23.2. All right, name a food. Kolaches. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I mean, I think it's got to be kolaches or donuts, right? Am I saying that right? Kolaches? Bassinek. I don't even know what that is. Pickles. I think we got to go with kolaches. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, well, since we're on it, let's go vegetable. We need a vegetable now. <laughs> kolaches with meat. Maybe that's what I get then. Because the ones I get aren't, aren't always like fruit filled or whatever. Brussels sprouts, heirloom potatoes, radish. That's a good word, radish. Eggplant. What is kohlrabi? I don't know what that is, and two of you said it. I don't know what kohlrabi is. Turnip, radish. I like saying radish and turnip. Those are good. Those are good vegetable words. Eggplant's also good. Okra, that's a good one. It's a green. Radicchio. Turnip. Kohlrabi's a green. Okay. Turnip. Ah, I'm high. I'm high. It's kind of hard not to go okra here because I'm, you know, good Southern boy. I like turnip. That's just a good word though. All right, last one. We need an adverb. Last one. Then we'll read this one, and then we'll do round two. And then I'm probably going to have to go jump and uh, go get ready for Mike's. Uh, not Mike's. I can, I can throw it over to Mike, but get ready for Blake's uh, podcast. Indisputably. I like that word. Indisputably. Rewizzles, you're determined to get quite in there. I like it. I like it. Indubitably. Let's go indisputably. All right. All right. That's it for this one. All right. Y'all ready? Did we get them all? Yeah, that was better to do all the uh, all the word types together. So we'll do that. The second one's a little bit longer, so that will definitely work for work for this for the second one a little bit better. All right, let me get a drink and then we'll read this. All right, Caroline, Alex, and company, this is for you. The Jones family walked into CW Pencils and the dad said, Hey, do you sell any squids here? That's a resplendent joke, Dad, said Sarah. Her smooth brother John looked at the erasers. Do you think this can remove the bathroom on my shirt? <laughs> he asked. It's not a magic eraser, said Mrs. Jones rapidly. <laughs> do you need help finding a Chatoyet pencil? asked the itchy pencil lady. What is your favorite podcaster in the shop? Asked Sarah. Big fan of Sarah here. I mostly use pencils for punting and discrediting. <laughs> the magenta elbow is great for that, said the pencil lady. So that's our new pencil name, the magenta elbow. Wow, this pencil is really lubricated, said Sarah, who tested on a blank piece of ferrule. 
The Jones family brought, bought 23.2 pencils. We are very feathered. Is there a good place for kolaches around here? Asked Mrs. Jones. Yes, I love the fluffy turnip next door, said the pencil lady. Thank you, the jo said the Jones family, indisputably. They agreed that CW Pencils is a caffeinated store. <sighs> that was great. Do you think this can remove the bathroom on my shirt, he asked. It's not a magic eraser, Mrs. Jones <laughs> said rapidly. <laughs> oh, my God. Excellent job, chat. We will send these over to Caroline. Um after as soon as I get done before I leave here I will take uh, a picture of this y'all want to knock out the second one that worked out really really well the second one's a little bit longer do y'all want to knock out some more um, it's like the full page of it um, let's do it because I got about 15 20 minutes and then I got to go home and, and get ready for other stuff that today but I think we can do this that was too fun and I want to send it to Caroline she needs some uh, she needs some uplifting um, and I think she will enjoy this and we'll make it from the the, the twitch chat all right, <clears throat> let's go with, um, I'm just going to go in order here of what we need. And, uh, yeah, smooth, Brother John. Do you think this can remove the bathroom on my shirt? That was a good one. Do you need help finding a Chatoyant pencil? So Magenta Elbow is our pencil brand. So that's pretty cool. We did good there. And then the, the Fluffy Turnip is the restaurant. So good job, everyone. All right. Let's uh, give me a city, and let's uh, let's knock out number two here. I need a city. Do we just need one city here? Let's see. Yep, give me one city. Twelve pack of the magenta elbows. We'll work on that. <clears throat> San Fran, York, OKC, Sugar Tit. Is that a real city? Oscar, you're cut off. Minneapolis. A good word, Minneapolis, Timbuktu, Atlanta, Montauk. That's a good word. Sorry, <clears throat> I promise it's real. Efranta. Oh, I don't doubt it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with Minneapolis. Minneapolis, I like saying Minneapolis. All right, I need at least two numbers, so start throwing some numbers out there. Um, so yeah, give me a uh, um. Give me some numbers. Why? Well, watch how to spell Minneapolis. Eight hundred seventy four twenty seven eight hundred eight hundred fifteen ninety eight point nine six 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 one two three four thirty seven. Uh, I think we'll go with thirty seven. Fine, Tony, 37, but I still need another number. What are we going to go with? 37 and 41 and a half. 6.05, uh, 19.8. What are we going to do here? I should do 37 again. Negative 14. Um, 102 102 is we're gonna go with that 102 all right food give me some food uh yeah that's the only thing i need food any food apple tarts waffles sashimi can't even pronounce that border box <clears throat> gyoza ZD waffles second vote for waffles I had waffles for breakfast so that seems like the answer right waffles it is All right, we need a verb ending in ing, and I'm going to need one, two, three, four. Yeah, that was, uh, Tony was slacking. I, I hammered him. 
Verb ending in ing, so we're gonna need a bunch of these. Swatching, decapitating. I like swatching, that's a very strong word. So we're gonna go jumping, okay? Well, you, Elizabeth needs to get in there, so we're gonna use swatching, jumping, but keep them going, I need four. Swatching. Where is this one jumping? All right, skipping, balancing, amending. That's a great word, amending. Amending, <clears throat> rewinding. I'm gonna use amending, that's a good word. And then I still need one more, amending. Slurping, crunching. Filling, adjudicating, that's another good word. Deflating, darning, <laughs> that's a good word. Ameliorizing, brewing, brewing. Uh, ah, this is a tough one. I'm gonna go with brewing, let's see with brewing. Okay, um, plural noun. One, two, three, four more of those. Plural nouns. Plural nouns. Children, donuts, pencils. Car, zebras, finials. Drums, UFOs. Sparkles. All right, sparkles. I need four of these, so just keep them coming. Kings, notebooks, widgets. Donuts. Wax seals. Uh, <laughs> member chips. Old National Geographics. Do I, I don't have room to write that on any of these. That's a good one. Bullhorns. I like that one. Bullhorns. Where's my next one? Okay. Twizzlers. Floppy disks. Ooh, stickers. Floppy disks. We're going to use that. Clickers, lipsticks, pages, VHS tapes, antennas. God, these are all good. How many more do I need? One. One. Booger suckers. Mm. Particles. Miscreants. Mixtapes. I like mixtapes. Adams. Yeah. Okay. Uh, ah, one more. All right. Mixtapes. Mixtapes. It is. All right. Give me a body part. Body part. Toe. Nose, knees. We had lots of tongues before. We had toe before. I'm gonna have to go with tongue. Cuticle, kneecap. Scapula. Clavicle. I'm gonna go with toe. It's very simple. It came up a bunch before. We'll go with toe. All right, adverbs. I need one, two, three, four adverbs. And I see I missed uh, I missed one earlier. We'll have to go circle back. Brighteningly, excitedly, excitedly. That's a good one. Excitedly. 
three more. You know, it just hit me. I should probably use pencil to do this, but that's okay. We'll taunt them. Suddenly, judiciously, expertly. That's a good one. Expertly. Adverb, 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 adverbs. Uh, judgingly, fumblingly, forebodingly. Forebodingly. I like that. Forebodingly. Does that have an E? Where did that go? How do you spell that? For. Yep. For, inexplicably. I like saying that word. Royale with cheesily. Invasively. Inexplicably. Inexplicably. That's a good word. Do I need that? Yep. Okay. Uh, give me a verb ending in ing again. I think I missed one earlier. Scooting. <laughs> I like scooting. All right, scooting's it. Y'all can stop that one. Uh, scooting. I need uh, adjectives. One, two, three, four. Adjectives. Adjectives. One, two. Man, I need another number, too. This was a long one. Hard to see. One, two, three. Four adjectives. Exploring, shiny, precious, precious, bright. I like prickly, precious, prickly, prickly, pooping, timely, wooden. Uh, what did I say? Precious. Let's do precious. Adjective precious. <laughs> flamboyant okay I like that that's a great word uh, one more yeah one more adjective flamboyant Crimean <laughs> hopeful wet <laughs> we should just do wet Okay, wet. Okay, I need, I need a plant. I need a plant. I'm just trying to see what I'm missing here. Just a couple more, then we're done with this. So give me a plant, a fern, cactus, hibiscus. Venus flytrap. Yucca. Ficus. <clears throat> Juniper. That's a good word. Rhubarb. <laughs> rhubarb. Let's do rhubarb. That's a fun word. Rhubarb. All right. We need another number because I missed, I, apparently, I missed this one. Hit me those numbers. Numbers are hard. Fifty-five. That's a pretty legit number right out the gate. I'm gonna go with fifty-five because numbers are hard for me to choose, and I'm good with that one. Fifty-five. Okay, and I need a noun, and that'll do it. Just a noun. Rock cube. Bicycle. Poop. Pyramid. Pie. Observatory. <laughs> okay, observatory wins. Okay, you can pause and let me make sure I got everything. Yeah, okay, we got them. 
We got them. All right, round two. We should clip these where I'm reading them. By we, I mean you. All right. <clears throat> the five pencil ladies had been snowed into Minneapolis for 37 days. They were down to their last 102 pencils. Do we have any waffles left? Asked Alex. I am tired of swatching, said Olivia. Meredith and Esther were drawing pictures of sparkles. I have a cramp in my toe, said Meredith. Me too, said Esther excitedly. What should we do now? Just then, all the bullhorns in the room went out. Alex and, Alex and Olivia screamed expertly in the dark. Wait, where's Caroline? asked Meredith. She was just here jumping and scooting, <laughs> said Esther. Here I am, said Caroline, holding a prickly flashlight. And I found stickers that smell like rhubarb, pencils shaped like floppy disks, and 55 tea bags. If only we had some precious puzzles to pass the time, said Meredith. We can make our own, said Esther, forebodingly. The pencil ladies inexplicably set to work with freshly flamboyant pencils. Soon they were amending and brewing over their puzzles. What a wet cure for cabin fever, said Caroline. I wish everyone could play along. Soon the mixtapes came back on and the observatory outside melted. The pencil ladies were excited to go outside to send copies of their cabin fever cure to all of their friends. That's amazing. Y'all did a really good job with this one. Um, this one went some places for sure. Um, it, it went, it had some things. So yeah, this is great. Um, it is just wonderful. So we will share these. Um, I'll see if I can break out the videos, send them to Caroline, but I will send them the, I'll put this on Instagram now before I leave actually while my file is uploading. Um, and so y'all go, uh, y'all go on there and tell everyone at CW pencils, uh, hope they stay safe and, uh, safe and sound during this during this time so i think i think they will enjoy this so we'll we'll do that all right what else what else we need to talk about i got my member chips out abel's pace thanks for the follow appreciate you um yeah i got my member chips out we got the mad libs done which was excellent god that was fun um and that's probably all i got for today i have another friend of the show to record i have another friend of the show to release I have a knock email to send out. Nothing new other than Alexander's new toy for everyone to play with. Um, what else? What else do we need? I have refill to write on Friday. We're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do an in-depth look at some of the pens I haven't inked up in a while that I just inked up for our video last weekend. So yeah, lots of things. Lots in the hopper. I hope everyone's staying sane. I had a kind of a not sane day yesterday, but I'm feeling pretty good today. It's weird, you know, these times, like really, like your attitude, like I'm speaking for myself, my attitude can change like every hour, like diametrically opposite type of feel. So I hope all of y'all can, you know, are taking care of yourselves and getting through things. I know I'm not the best at taking care of myself sometimes, so I got to work on that. And, um, you know, we just... uh we just got to get through this and it's, it's, it's weighing on a lot of us and we don't know it. So yeah, I, the way yesterday was going, I thought I was going to take today off, just flat out take today off, but I'm really good today. So, and I don't know why, cause my day is packed. Like my day, my schedule today is just packed and I guess I'm good with that. Um, maybe yesterday wasn't as packed and I was able to, um, to think too much and that became a problem. So we'll see. Anyway, I just want everyone to know, um, that you're not alone out there. Like we all go through stuff and this ended very strangely. So we should read Mad Libs again and, uh, well, we'll do it again, but have a good day. That's what I'm saying. So I'm having a good one today and, uh, I think it'll be better than yesterday and that's all I can ask for. So y'all are awesome. Thanks for hanging out. We'll, uh, we'll be around, uh, I'll be around the internet. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to stream this weekend or not. 
to be determined. I probably have too much stuff to do around the house this weekend to think about getting over. And I, honestly, I probably need to give myself a break from uh, putting that on the schedule. So just I might lighten the schedule this weekend a little bit and probably ixnay uh, any extra streams this weekend. Take a break. So, all right, <clears throat> be good. And I will talk to you all on the internets.